Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to talk about criteria considered for a water supply scheme under the subject water supply and sanitary engineering. So mostly these criteria are useful for any government body or a private sector that are linked with water supply network of any area. But before going directly with the criteria for water supply scheme, we would be discussing what are the objectives of this particular water supply scheme. And by this we will even understand why are we designing this water supply scheme for. So our first objective is to supply water in a sufficient quantity. Then to supply good quality of water. So basically quality and quantity of water is very important for livelihood of any area. Then our third point is to supply water at required place and time. So not just the quality and quantity of water which is supplied is important but the time and place where this water will be supplied is also important. Then our last objective is to supply water at a reasonable cost to the consumers. So in this developing world, supply of water is not that difficult but as an engineer your work would be to make it at reasonable cost so that the consumers living in that area would be able to afford that. So after this we will be going with the main part of this video that is criteria to be considered for any water supply scheme. So the first criteria here what we are discussing is financial aspect. In the first stage of any water supply scheme the data regarding the cost estimation and availability of fund should be obtained and the economy should be the first criteria considered. So in the initial stage of the water supply scheme, the data regarding the availability of fund for the supply scheme should be obtained. This water supply scheme then should be planned in relation to the fund available. Here as an engineer, the attempt should be made to make this scheme as economical as possible. Then our next criteria which should be considered here is population. The probable population of that particular area should be ascertained for the future decades by suitable methods. Water supply projects are designed to serve over a specified period of time after completion of the project. This time period is known as design period. Water works are generally designed for about uh, 30 years and for this next 30 years we should be able to efficiently estimate the population. And there are numerous methods available to calculate the future population but we are not going here with that. But this is the thing or we can say this is the criteria which we need to take care about. Then our next criteria is water quality. The quality of water decides the treatment required and it should be economical. This means that the quality of available water decides the line of treatment of water. The impurities present in the water should be less as possible and should be such that it can be removed easily and economically. And if the quality of water available is not good, it requires costly treatment. So this criteria was about the quality of water and the next is rate of consumption. The rate of consumption of water per capita should be estimated. The demand of water depends on various uses such as domestic, public, industrial etc. And for that the rate of consumption of water per capita should be decided by very careful considering all these possible uses. This rate when multiplied with the population gives the total quantity of water required for the water supply scheme. So here we are calculating the quantity of water required by any individual. Then our next criteria is source of water supply. The selection of source of water supply should be such that the cost of conveyance and water treatment is reasonable. And we know that the cost of water supply scheme depends on the selection of the site for the source of water. And so we are selecting such site where the conveyance and treatment of water will be reasonable. So after discussing the sources of water supply, we will be going with sanitary survey of area surrounding the available water source. This helps in estimating the possible contamination of water from such sources. The sanitary survey of any area surrounding the available water sources helps in estimating the possible pollution or contamination of water from such sources. And this sanitary survey includes the collection of information regarding possible sources of water pollution. So this criteria basically deals with the cleanliness. And our last point here to be considered is topography of the area. This helps in deciding an economical water supply scheme. 
the topographical map of the area to be served by the scheme should be prepared and it should be studied in relation to the lower lying areas ridges density of population etc and this topographic study helps in deciding an economical water supply scheme and sometimes the supply of water will become even economical if we are taking the advantage of gravity but for that our source of water should be available on hill side so friends this was all about the criteria as considered for the water supply scheme thank you for watching